Coin traders, what's going on? Thanks for joining me for the show. How are we doing? Looking at VeChain VET on that ticker. Been a few weeks since we've looked at it, so just want to talk about the overall pattern right now. We are looking at the four day chart here. Going to be looking at this and the weekly. They are a little bit more relevant right now. If we can look at the daily, it's just a little bit more ugly, a lot of indecision. So we do have a lot of different candles. We will dive into it though, but do want to start with the four day first since right now this actually is a very recognizable setup and specifically do want to turn off the 12 period exponential moving average. Just talk about on this four day chart, the zone of support that has been formed in between this 12 period EMA and this excuse me the 26 period ema and this 50 period ema so as you can see 26 and 50 very nice zone of support before this very nice upside pushing us to our current trend high on this move of 5.51 cents so now if we actually zoom back to we can look at the amount of times that it has been relevant so several tests and attempts to actually break this level so previously coming off of the low and then we also had back here coming right off the fall rally here before that big resistance on this 26 and before that big resistance on this zone in between the 26 and the 50. So very big and relevant lines here and indications, which is why we are looking at this chart first, since typically we always do want to look at charts that are the most relevant and also have indicators that are working here. Additionally, the thing that I want to look at too is just how we have this falling support line, but also we do have a falling resistance line. So we are kind of making more or less this falling wedge type pattern which typically is a more than likely bullish breakout type formation pattern. So these patterns rally up and then obviously a downward falling wedge typically should end up breaking bullish, especially as long as we confirm a lot of these downside supports for this V chain chart. Now the current move's been a little bit longer and obviously bigger and a little bit more of indecision than what we experienced back when we had the end of the year pullback here where we actually kicked off through the end of, or excuse me, the middle of January here. And so that's not necessarily a bad sign, especially after having a couple of months so far of pullback here. Now this is exactly what we do want to see and experience because after big rallies, we actually need time to cool down and establish some support levels in order to continue heading higher. Now, it would have actually been great if we did hold this level as the point of support that we were looking at. That was big resistance on this initial move. So we could have been looking at support coming in about 3.745 all the way up to about 3.91. But we're actually looking to the downside for that. But as long as we do maintain exponential moving average support on this four day chart, like we said, all is still intact on this four day chart. So now with that, I want to flip over here into the weekly because we're looking at a lot of great things, especially in terms of this chart as well. And kind of like we talked about resistance on the four day chart, we're actually looking still very much at weekly closing support for this chart. So weekly closing resistance previously was at 3.486. So right now we're doing a very good job to be able to maintain that since we do have a little bit of wicking down in between this zone. So even though we did fall into the 26 and 50 on the weekly, Still doing a very good job to maintain 26 EMA support closes on the current weekly candles. Current weekly candle has just over five days to go, so still potential action, but right now looking at a very nice inside bar formation. So hopefully we can get a very nice support level on this EMA, as well as this previous level of weekly closing resistance. So also want to point a very big highlight down to the volume down here because we did have our volume peak that started on the 8th of April candle. And then ever since has just been a gradual taper off and decline, which does mean selling pressure has been subsiding here and getting exhausted, which means that some of these lower supports should be holding up, especially when we talk about these type of downside support continuation patterns. So looking at technicals right now, pulling up the RSI and stochastic RSI, looking at stochastic RSI first. This is the lowest that stochastic RSI for the weekly has been. So we're actually looking at these levels being at zero down to the zero line for the blue and 3.84 for the orange here. So we know smashed up against the bottom, going to be looking for a very nice bullish cross to see a little bit more upside direction to have this oscillator cruise back up. So the last time we actually had the weekly down this far was back about a year ago in May of 2023. And for that, we actually established our bottom, obviously still had a little bit more downside to go, but ultimately did have a lot more of this bullish pressure to head back up. With that, though, we also had the RSI that was a lot lower than what we're currently looking at right now for the current weekly looking at 51.97. So a very nice point to actually normalize this RSI and allow it to roll back up into the over 70 line into the overbought category 
and still looking pretty good and pretty sharp on that especially after confirming some of these supports wouldn't expect it to really continuing down farther to the downside especially without some sort of reprieve and some rally to actually have this rsi go back up so it's not necessarily that likely that we'll just see it continuing to go down especially with the rsi stochastic rsi at this level now in the last v chain video we talked about how the current longer term setup from the last cycle has actually led us into this very nice accumulation bottom here and it is the time that we're looking for where we do experience in a wyckoff type accumulation that this does shape up to be a very nice phase d pattern and it doesn't always have to be a sign of strength in the form of a pennant or even a triangle or wedge so typically on this type of move seeing a flag pulling back to test some of the lower supports and confirm previous resistance as support is a very good sign for that sign of strength so shaping up for a very nice phase d and then typically this does lead into a very nice phase e breakout if we do get a continuation of this wyckoff accumulation pattern which is pretty much what we're expecting right now Gonna flip into the two week and don't actually talk about two week charts too often, but we do have a very big good picture for exponential moving average supports and resistances here. So looking back to last cycle, looking at the 26 and 50 period EMA, big points of support on these bounces. So very relevant exponential moving averages. And then on the whole bear market resistance, flipped it into resistance, resistance, huge zone here, resistance. And then finally on this move to the upside, established it as support rallied above the 50 kicked back and then kicked off perfectly just after where we had our bullish cross here of the 12 and the 26 and then obviously after that huge follow through to the upside and then another back test as we're looking for the bullish cross here now fully to happen where we do have the 26 finally heading on top of the 50 once that happened that'll be a very nice good sign so very strong support and you can see just how much support we have as all these EMAs are starting to get extremely tight. So this very nice back test of this exponential zone for this two week chart is extremely good. And especially looking left here, very nice point of closing resistance that we have been holding very nicely, which does sit in between right now, the 26, excuse me, the 12 period and the 50 period EMA on this two week chart right now. And one thing to highlight again, I know it does take a while since each one of these bars is two weeks, but if we look at the number of consecutive bearish bars, we're looking at five so far, including the current candle. And it's pretty much taken five to actually invalidate the size and the bullish moves that we have, especially given the magnitude of this bullish candle here. And even the following candle, despite having a small body, we know that a lot of upper wick and downside shadow, especially with this kind of volume, does mean a lot of indecision. But ultimately, we do have this as a bullish candle. So still the point I'm trying to get at here is that this overall pullback and sell-off pressure, despite having a lot of indecision, upper wicks and lower shadows on all of these candles, is still a very good sign because we know that the amount of volume that it's actually taken to pull back cons consecutively over this amount of time actually is nothing compared to what we have seen, especially to push the price up on multiple times. So the strength of the moves very much continuing the trend to the upside, especially as we do have a lot of supports being established. So very good trend, low set our high, higher low, higher high, now pulling back likely setting a higher low since the lower high now on this would just be so extremely low so for the two-week low we would be looking at a low of 2.47 cents which not necessarily that likely right now would be over 32 percent pullback from current price levels so now we why we are looking at longer term charts looking at the monthly now and looking at just how again monthly exponential moving averages are so extremely relevant big points of support support big resistance and then flipping it where we had our 50 start resistance and then resistance again before very nice bullish break and candles back testing confirming this 12 period as that support and then obviously support again follow through and then now two months of downside confirming support right now on the current month that we're looking at so very good sign especially as tight as all these are and even starting to get the monthly cross bullish cross of these exponential moving averages as well so had our very nice bullish cross the 12 over the 50 and now we are looking at the 26 to 12 and then also the 50 on bottom but still being very nice points of support especially after we've had two very nice months of extremely solid bullish movement and then also now back testing these exponential moving averages to confirm them as that support so that's exactly what we're looking at right now obviously still have a little over three weeks on the current monthly candle to go but that's why it is going to be so critical to hold this level about 3.38 cents all the way down to the 50 period ema about 3.1 so basically from about three and a half cents all the way down to about three cents is going to be a very big support zone that we're going to need to see a lot of support buying. But right now, this chart does look extremely bullish 
for some of the longer term. Obviously, the shorter term has been a little bit uneventful and kind of slow, especially over the last couple of months. But we know that that is exactly what we need to see in a longer term upside directional markets. And for longer term growth, that's what we also need to see as well. All right, so flipping into the daily before we go ahead and wrap up. And as you can see, not a whole reliance on these exponential moving averages. So either need to change time frames or change the length on these exponential moving averages on this daily time frame. But right now, over the last couple of weeks or so, have actually seen a reliance on the exponential moving averages as resistance right now, especially getting a very full bearish cross where we have 12, 26, and then 50 on the top right now. So path of least resistance still to the downside and also making new lower lows here on this daily. So looking at a low right now, 3.29, that's still well within that support level for the longer term charts, which is exactly what we need to see. So even if we do pull back a little bit more, that's still not necessarily as of suspect from the trend high right now down to that low, only about 40%. Meanwhile, a lot of the other altcoins are looking at 50 to 60% losses or pullbacks on this retracement. So still looking very nice for VeChain. And even if we do pull back down to that three cent level, that's still only going to be about 45% pullback from current prices. That would only be about 17. So still nothing for crypto, especially given the longer term formations of this chart. And so kind of just this overall choppiness has been while we are just being patient and zooming out and looking at the longer term charts right now, especially for VeChain, because that's really what we're going to have to rely on just since the volatility and the choppiness here for VeChain has been so significant and kind of unreliable and unpredictable overall on the whole. But really, we would love to see prices get above about the 4.29 to 4.3 level. If we do see that happening, then we're going to be looking at a pretty good shot of actually changing the trend on this daily time frame. But overall, I think sentiment still pretty positive for VeChain. So I think that we do have a very good shot of having a nice run for VeChain in this overall market bull run and cycle. So I should have plenty more good things to see out of VeChain here in the future. And definitely stay tuned and hit the like and subscribe so you can stay updated for more updates on VeChain. And yeah, so with that, that is going to go ahead and wrap up the video on VeChain. Hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to drop me a question, comment, issues, disagreements, all that stuff down in the comment sections below. Or feel free to reach out on Twitter or X over there. At coin underscore trades is the handle. Looking forward to chatting with everyone on Twitter or X. That is going to go ahead and wrap it up for now, though. So stay safe, take care, appreciate all the love and support as always. And I will catch you back in the next video. Peace.